Hello my little kumas, it is Natalie here and this is a very requested video not only by you guys but I'm doing this for the Miraculous Ladybug Amino team so everyone check out Miraculous Ladybug Amino, a link will be in the description below. Um, this is part of the editing team and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Paint Tool Sci which is quite a, an amazing software to use when drawing art and everything. This is only going to be beginner's tutorials and if you want me to do any more advanced stuff like all the textures and everything I use in my artwork then do leave me a comment below and I will try and do that for you. But anyway, let's get started. So you can get Paint Tool Sci easily by either downloading it offline or you can, I don't recommend it but you can easily get cracks on line and stuff. Um, I got this version by my friend, she bought the full version and gave me a copy of it. Um, it's really good if you want to do more textured artwork and it's really good for more freelance drawings and stuff. Um, I draw using a Pablo tablet which is one with a screen on and I find that this drawing tablet is really good for using artwork and creating more textures and stuff. <laughs> so anyway, let's get started. To start off, I tend to draw my portraits and images using a width of 8 191 and a height of 1260. This is triple size of an A3 image work. So you can get a portrait thing. If you want to change your sizes you can easily go to canvas, change sizes and you can change it and set it to whatever you want to. So if I wanted to go to 150 and that would automatically change your sizes for you. So set. Now we're going to introduce you to all the brushes here. So as you can see by my right hand corner, there is a big palette of brushes, many of them. Half these brushes you see here are custom made, which I have made myself. To make a custom made paintbrush, you go onto a blank palette here, you left click and then you create a brush. So just for the sake of this tutorial, let's create a pencil brush. And then to create it in a different way that you want it, you can change it to the density. So each density will show how soft it is. So let me use a white brush. So the lower the density, the lower the opacity pretty much. The higher the density, the higher the opacity. Basically like that. So I tend to keep my density quite high. Uh, you can change it to different um, samples and stuff. So you could have a rough head, which is more square base. Um, you could have a middle flat, which is more like a curve base. It just really depends on how you want to draw and stuff. Different pens, so if I wanted to do more fine line work, I could write, like, clit I can't say the word clitography, or clitigree, or whatever that text fancy text writing work. It just depends on how you want to use that. You can also use different textures as well, which I will explain more in a different video. But basically, you can use these textures and draw like pretty much anything you want. But it'll create this little textures and stuff to create more of that realistic effect. So one of the main brushes you tend to use is more the pen tool. This pen tool is really good when creating basic, simple drawings. Uh, you can draw basically anything you like, from heads to bodies to robots to pretty much anything. I tend to like to draw uh, with the basics and drawing the heads and everything. And I find it can be very fun and very useful as a pen tool to use. Another tool I like to use when drawing is the brush tool. When I can find it. <laughs> which tends to be in many different places depending on where I keep all my stuff together um, which is this tool here it has a min size of 50 and a density of 100 a blending option of 50 and a persistence of 80 it should come with your packages I find this tool is really useful when drawing more detail artwork because you can find the, like drawing stuff like this neck and everything you can get more of the textures you want to do together so yeah. <laughs> this is also, as you can see by the pen tool, much lighter and it creates more of that realistic, sketchy effect instead of more hard based. 
Another tool I want to teach you is the layers tool. The layers tool is really useful when drawing artwork because you can change the settings, you can lock your layers, you can, so no one can access that layer. If you go into preserve opacity, you can change the colours of your layers, so if I wanted to change this black now to a blue, clicking that preserve opacity will change just that layer blue pretty much. Um, it's a great way of using different layers to help your drawing become more better. So another example of using layers is like, for example, if I want to draw, I don't know, an eye right now. I can draw on top of that an eye and take away that layer and it just be that line, I like that there. So we can draw pretty much anything with the layers and it gives it more freedom basically to draw what you like with more space. You also have your rubber, rubber, rubber tool which comes with every basic thing, which is basically if you make a mistake you can simply erase it. Drawing more things. The face. There we go. <laughs> there are many other tools that come with the package, such as the average tool. This creates a more soft, fully light texture, which is really nice if you're using cell shading, not cell shading, soft shading. You have a normal brush tool, which is good for more line work and everything. It's more of a softer brush. One of my favourite brushes is more a custom brush, and this custom brush is, of course, the blood brush. Why can I be like strong for this? This brush, blood brush has a density of 100, a min size of 0, it has a cell size of a spread, which is 50, advanced settings with one being the fastest, 